people, it really was the little things during the pandemic that made a very tough year easier. And one of those things was free parking in downtown Cleveland. But as Caroline Sweeney tells us in this News 5 original, now that health mandates have ended, so will the free parking, unless you're in the burbs. Kind of like that wider Mohawk yeah. type thing. Noah Carter has been working at Eddie's Barbershop for nearly a year. <laughs> and in that time, the garage is usually has spots available. He hasn't had to pay for parking when he comes to work in Cleveland Heights. And it's not just for employees here. No one here has had to pay for metered parking for more than a year. It's been awesome. You don't have to worry about your meter is going to run out or anything like that. It started as a way to help businesses. A spokesperson for Cleveland Heights says the free parking isn't going away anytime soon. It's not just good for employees and customers here. It's also been good for residents. Living in the Coventry area, it's probably saved me like $100 this year so far. For Ben Shepard, it means not having to rush through an oil change. We uh, appreciate it and I don't expect it to last. In downtown Cleveland, it won't last. These bright green flyers let drivers know parking tickets for expired meters will be back on July 6th. These parking meters and tickets bring in revenue for the city, money it hasn't been getting during the pandemic. It's got to be quarters. Leonard Paul says the nickel and diming of drivers doesn't have to come back. All it's going to do is make people come down there less. It seems like small change, but it adds up for people parking and shopping. They can just hang out and, you know, do what they need to do. Caroline Sweeney, News 5. We asked a city spokesperson for Cleveland's rationale in rolling back the free parking. The city did not respond before our deadline. 